Dr. Zerba Pastor is taking your calls at 270-9933. He's standing by live at his office at his clinic in Oregon. Hi, Zorba. How are you? Hi, good to see you guys. Everything, everything's blooming all at once. Yes, yes it is. It is blooming. Allergy season, and the good thing about allergy season, first of all, it's spring, so the weather's good, and we have lots of good over-the-counter medications that people can get without a prescription. Back in the day, you used to have to go to a doctor, pay a copay, get the prescriptions, but I would say 95% of them can be treated without that. So the first thing you want to do is pick an antihistamine that you think is good for you. Basically, a generic Claritin, Allegra, or Zyrtec. Now, Zyrtec tends to be a little bit stronger than Allegra and Claritin, but it also, for some people, will make them a little bit sleepy. A little bit sleepy. So, you know, you pick one of those non sedating antihistamines during the day. If you're really bad at nighttime, over the counter Benadryl works at nighttime. Really, really good. Can't take it during the daytime because it'll make most people sleepy. That's, that's a number one thing to do. But then, over the counter Flonase, which has now been available for the last year and a half, two years, is great. It is a steroid nasal spray available without a prescription. You can buy it at all different stores drug stores, Walmart, Kmart, Shopco, all the places will sell that really good two squirts in the morning, two squirts in the evening in each nostril till you get your allergies under control and then you pull it back to maybe one squirt twice a day. That'll take care of about 95% of the people with allergies. So if you're suffering, try that little Sudafed over the counter. will help clear up your nose every so often, but it's really the antihistamines, the steroid sprays, and you can do it. It'll make your life really good. All right. And the, the first frost isn't that far away, so that'll kill all that. <laughs> That's right. Let's go to the phones. We'll start with Jan in Prairie du Sac. Hi, Jan. Hi. What's your question? I was just wondering how you can be cold when it's like 72, 73 degrees out. And in my house, I get up, and I, my hands are cold, my feet are cold, and I still sleep with a heavy blanket. Oh, sure. Well, you know, some people, as you get older, for some reason, your sensory system is not as good as when you were younger. I remember when my kids were young, they'd be hot all the time, and they would just be sweating. When you're older, you just don't have the same circulation. It's not quite the same thing. You can get something called Raynaud's phenomena, which means that your hands really get cold just when there's a puff of cold air. So the answer is, I don't have a good answer. That's what it is. It's just one of the things that happen with age. And that's why some people still will wear socks at night, they'll wear gloves at night, They'll actually get dressed in tights to keep themselves warm, and that's really the best advice. Uh, and, of course, if you turn up the heat, then other people in the house may be uncomfortable, and, of course, it's more yeah. expensive. There are people Our Karen Swanson just, yes. has this yeah, issue. She is freezing she, all the time. She is always cold, no matter what yeah. the temperature she, is. And she's not that old, so I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's go to... Let's no, go to. I didn't say you're old because you're cold all the time. Oh, I just said it's something that often happens yes. with people who are older. And, I, and so we're I don't always hot. I don't want to insult anybody in S saying Susan that. Susan and I are always so hot, so... That's the other side of that. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Enough about us. Sue in Madison, go ahead. Hi, Sue. Hi, I was calling to see if um, I wanted to know this thing. I broke out in hives for no apparent reason mm -hmm. last night on my trunk region, and I wasn't sure what might have been the cause or what I should do for sure. treatment. Sure, sure. Sure. Well, first of all, you can have idiopathic hives, which means we don't know what it's from. You can have hives from a viral infection. You can get hives <clears throat> if you're bit by a, a bug and all of a sudden you have just an extra reaction. But hives are really common. Sometimes, of course, it's from food. It's just from the allergens that are in the air. Many, many different things have it. But the way to really treat it is Benadryl at bedtime, because that's when they tend to itch, 25 to 50 milligrams at bedtime. If they really bother you during the day, Benadryl during the day help but it may make you sleepy but like I just talked about over-the-counter non-sedating antihistamines will work double the dose on the bottle in other words it'll say one tablet every 8 to 12 hours you double it to two tablets and that's the way you treat it usually they go away usually most people do not need allergy testing which is expensive and often will not uncover the reason you've got those hives it just they just tend to go over, away with time all right very good thank you for calling today let's go to Judy in Madison hi Judy what's your question <laughs> Yeah, mine is, I'm listening to you, Andrew. Mine is about my big toes. Mm -hmm. Why do they bulge up? It's like a fungus, I know. Oh, sure. But what causes sure. that? 
Sure. Well, it's the, the big toe often has a fungal infection, big name called onychomycosis, and basically it comes from trauma. As we get older, the little fungus can get under underneath our toenail. We can get it from banging our foot on a chair or something else. Once it gets in there, it can be very difficult to get out. Uh, a prescription drug called Lamisil that you take once a day for 12 weeks can work. Some people, that doesn't work. They have to go to a podiatrist to just get their sort of the nail, sort of uh, a sand paper down but it's a common problem worse with diabetics and if you're diabetic you really have to make sure you have good nail care but it comes ultimately from trauma and once again the pills work about 80 percent of the time all right so there is some relief possible mm -hmm. yeah. all right we are out of time thank you everyone for calling in zorba thank you for your thank time thank you zorba good to a see you pleasure good to see you guys we'll be right